Hey guys, it's Layla. Our topic for today is the infratentorial tumors of the cerebellum and the fourth ventricle. Starting with the cerebellum, you have the medulloblastoma. It is the most common malignant tumor in children. Overall, the most common malignant is glioblastoma multiforme. It is a very high-grade tumor, quite invasive, and it causes obstructive hydrocephalus. Why? Because in front of the cerebellum, you'll find the fourth ventricle. So when it compresses on it, it's going to cause hydrocephalus. Four different grades. You have WNT, SHH, group 3 and group 4, the most common being group they are due to different mutations and they're more prevalent in different sexes but we won't get into that moving on to diagnostics here we have a CT showing a medulloblastoma you can see a mass before we move on I want to show you the normal axial structure of the brain you can see the pons the fourth ventricle and then the cerebellar hemispheres here you can see a T1 weighted image. You can see the large mass. It has completely obstructed the fourth ventricle and it is pushing into the brainstem. Here is a sagittal view. You can see how big the mass is. Moving on to hemangioblastoma. It is of vascular origin. It is a slow-growing tumour. Depending on the location, it can cause hydrocephalus, headaches, cerebellar dysfunction, etc. Because of the origin, it can even lead to polycythemia. Here is a T1-weighted image, axial view. You can see a central mass in the vermis of the cerebellum. And this is the T2-weighted image of the same tumour. It is more prevalent in men, above 40, and it usually has a cystic component. Since this video is about infratentorial tumours, I'll say a little bit about the brainstem. You usually have brainstem gliomas, astrocytomas. They can either be diffuse or focal. Now focal is more localised, easier to remove it. And for diffuse, it's quite impossible to remove all the tumour components. It can lead to ataxia, cranial nerve palsies, hydrocephalus, if it compresses on the fourth ventricle. You know, there's some cranial nerves arise from the brainstem, so you can have palsies, etc. The most common location is pontine, and the least common is medulla. A T1 sagittal view, you can see a glioma in the medulla. Here is a T2 sagittal view of the same tumour. It has obstructed the fourth ventricle. And here is an axial view of the brainstem glioma. Moving on to the fourth ventricle, you have ependymoma or the malignant one, ependymoblastoma. It has obstructed the fourth ventricle in this T1 weight image and this will cause hydrocephalus which is represented by headaches, nausea, altered level of consciousness, etc. This is a coronal section. Alright guys, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.